Come on in. <clears throat> well, that's my w split wood taken care of. And this morning, I decided to bring out the A2. I haven't used it for a while, so I thought I'd bring that out. Well, I'm going to light the fire now. It's a bit nippy this morning. You can probably tell because I'm double hatting it again. I've actually got some birch bark. As I was walking in, there's a, a very dead, rotten birch has fallen down and smashed on the floor and because it's nice and dry today it's dry and there's some birch bark on it it's not very good birch bark it's a bit crap not like what you usually see nice perfect stuff on youtube it's a bit crap so i'm not going to even bother lighting it with a ferro rod i'm going to use a lighter right on to that then See what I mean? It's not very good. Well, there's a few bits like that. I've got plenty of split wood, some twigs, and i got a feather stick. Probably won't need the feather stick. We'll keep that till uh, emergencies. Trusty hot water bottle. Frozen. I'm going to use my uh, new X attack.
Well, we can safely say that's lit. That birch bark was crap though. I think I might as well have just lit the twigs. But I have noticed with uh, my X attack, if it goes on the side or anything, the fuel is leaking into the cap. That's why I was doing this with it. To try and dry it off and put a bit of fuel onto the tinder. Oh well, must be something wrong with it. Or I really did overfill it because I have used it quite a few times now. I'd have thought that that fuel would have burnt off. But it's nice and easy to hold. It's not the best thing in the wind, but it's a good lighter and I'm pleased with it. And that's a nice fire and I'm pleased with that too. Last week's offering from me, I had my first go with this Ranger, Ranger 55 wood and I liked it but I want to talk about my other two as well which one I think is my favourite out of the three. I'm going to do some more work with this, I didn't do a lot last week but I've got to be honest, honesty is my middle name. Uh, it's actually not just James, but there we are. These are the other two I got. Now this one I've had a few years. And this is either the Trailmaster or the Forester, I just really can't remember. And this one's the one-handed opener with a lock. With a serrated, well, two-thirds serrated blade. And i got to be honest, I prefer this one. I know I've had it a few years, and it's been on a couple of trips for me. And as a backup slash cooking knife, I oh, just can't beat it. It cuts bread like a dream with that serrated blade. The saw works well. And I've actually modified it a little bit. Because the locking large screwdriver, which I'm never going to use in the woods for anything, I've ground that edge down to take a ferro rod. And because it's locked, it works well, whether you do it the pull method or the push method, it's great and it doesn't fold because it's got a lock. That is my favourite, but I do have another one. And I had a, this of a friend of mine last summer. He said he'd never used it, he had it as a gift and he gave it to me nice and cheap, which was very kind of him, thank you Stuart, and I haven't used it because it's not far off the same knife as the other one but without the one-handed opener different lock and instead of the screwdriver and tin opener it's got a serrated gutting blade I'm never going to use that for gutting anything because I don't hunt so I'm not going to use it but it does cut and it's excellent for cutting string and things and I think that's a plus and it's got Victorian Knox's dual purpose tin and bottle opener uh, I'll probably open a bottle or two if I go to some kind of gathering and meet like minded people but as for tins let's face it these days 95% of tins are going to have a ring pull so you don't really need a tin opener so I think that serrated blade and that are probably better than what you get standard. Because I do cut a lot of paracord and that serrated blade is good for it. With the curve as well. So I thought I'd just talk about them. Show you what I got. I got quite a few Susami knives. I've got quite into them in the last year. And I've never taken much notice. I've got a Swiss Champ, which I've had since I'm 15. And uh, that never sees the light of day because it's just too big and bulky. And these are better. And uh, the Huntsman is an excellent one. And the Farmer, very good. I use that now and again. You've probably seen that in a video too. I like the Farmer. And what I have done with all my Swiss Army knives, at great expense, I put these in, the fireflies, 
don't think this one's out yet. It has been scraped. Because I can make a toothpick out of a piece of wood. That's my uh, two penneth on my locking Susami knives. I think I'll use this now. I think I'll make a little feather stick with it. Now one thing I do find when I'm making a feather stick with you know, a flat grind or something that isn't a scandy. The igniter part usually ends up here because I work down the edge, the sharp edge, so I get the fine ones first. And the further down I go, the thicker they get, whether I turn the stick around to get a, a new edge or not, that just happens. Um, completely the opposite of the scandy, very strange. But what I think I'll do, I'll carry on with this now, and I've got a new ferro rod. It was my birthday last Friday, and my wife bought me a few new things, and one of which was an Exotac ferro rod. And I've had one of these in the past, and I didn't like it. But I've changed my ways a bit, so I thought I'd try another one, and my wife could pay for it. Well, I've managed to make a pretty nice igniter feather stick here with some really nice thin curls. Let's light it up. I've put this on some survival cod, which you probably realise has got some wax thread for fire lighting inside it. So, you know, if it won't like that, you can always cut a piece of this out. But what I do like about these is the capsule. There's bugger all in it at the moment, mine. But I'm going to think of something to put in there, something decent. And my pal Neil told me the night before last about some things you could buy on eBay. I can't remember what they're called, but I may get a bag of them save me making stuff because they're not very expensive five ten pound for a shed full of them and i may put a couple of them inside it well this is a virgin ferro rod which has never been scraped <gasps> get the paint off I shall do Neil's method. It's safer with this saw. Oh, Litton went out. I think you'll get a fire going with that and burn the woods down. Well as I thought it's a little bit on the soft side and when I'm scraping it on that nice sharp spine it's a bit of material coming off. I'll be using it again, I'll be using it again and I'll light the fire with it but they proved a nice little companion set. Obviously, I've got my really ugly lanyard, which just basically is meant to sit and hang out your pocket. And you wouldn't want to get that wet or it'll be a load of crap. But when it's dry, that jute, sizzle, whatever you want to call it, it's pretty good for getting a flame. 
Oh, I wish they had a lock on that saw. That works fine too, but yeah, it is soft. I'm gonna have to watch with it. It's probably better for giving it a light sparkage onto some fine tinder. Oh, that is burning well. There we are. My new ferro rod. And this is the only part that's left of the TBS one. Is the clicker. And I don't want to click in. Job done. Right. So it's a thumbs up for the ferro rod, although it's a bit soft. The Victorian Ox knife, the more I'm using it, the more I'm liking it. So that's good as well. On to another cup of tea. Well, my final offering for the day. I've had a new saw. As I said earlier, it was my birthday last week and my wife always buys me good gifts and this is one of them. Now, there's a reason I wanted to try this out. Now, I don't think it's any better than any of my other silky saws, but the reasoning why I want to try this out is the hand position. It's a lot more forward-facing than if you're using a folding saw, which is straight. And I want to see if this is any better for cutting on, I can't remember what it's called, on a saw horse. And I got a saw horse behind the shelter. And that's why I wanted to try this out. My buddy Scott has got a similar one, a samurai, and he rates it, he really likes it. So wife was asking me what you want for your birthday and I had the ferro rod, I had this and I had a new kettle but I haven't brought that out today. I thought that was just too much for one day. <laughs> well I'm going to try this out now. The tree I cut down last week, I'm going to cut that into a few sections, bring it back to camp. Off comes the safety guard and I'm off over there to cut that tree up. Fault it. So it works great, but I was talking to Scott, Welsh Woodsman Outdoors the other night, told him I bought one, and what he said was, you have a bit more fatigue cutting one-handed rather than two-handed with the folding silky saw, and you're right. Off to camp.
just go back and get the big piece. As if by magic, my kettle's boiling. Because as soon as I came back, I put the kettle on. Well, this fire has been a smoky bastard all day, and there's a reason for that. Because I've been burning off all the dog ends from the last few weeks, where I've bailed out, where I'm bailed out when I've left, and I've had to chuck water on them, and they haven't burnt through because I like burning them through. Well, they're basically all burnt now. And I'm just gonna have them two big pieces left and I'll just burn them next time. I've really noticed with this cold weather, the wind is blowing a different way. And I think it's blowing northeast. Whereas it usually blows another way. I can't remember which way it blows, but north something else. Westerly, probably, isn't it? Right, cup tea. Well, today's out dinners more or less come to an end. I'm gonna split them two rounds I sawed up now with the A2 uh, ready for next time. So I've always got some nice dry split wood, dear. Yeah? And then I'm gonna clean the fireplace out. I'm gonna douse it down. And I brought my cold steel shovel with me. So I'm gonna clean up. I should clean up more often, but nobody comes here, only me. So, But I decided I'm going to have a clean up today, because I didn't bring an axe. The shovel fitted in the axe slot in the bag. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, thoughts for the day. Um, I'm getting to like this Victorian Ox knife a lot more, the more I'm using it. And I just got to realise, you know, you've got to take your time with them feather sticks to get them curls right. Not like a Scandi, where I can just fly through. But it does work and it's a decent knife. Um, the ferro rod, I'm pleased with that. Thank you, Joanne. Joanne's my wife, thank you very much. And yeah, I'm gonna use that, and as I said earlier, I'm gonna find something good, a good fire start that I put in that little space in the handle. So, I'm disappointed with. Uh, should've listened to Scott, because he does know more about axes and saws than I do. But I spoke to him after I'd had it, so there we are. But I will use it. But I won't be using it on uh, sizable stuff. You know, I'll use it on stuff like that, not stuff like that. Apart from that, great. Had a nice day. I was expecting a bit of snow today because when I left home this morning, the skies up here over the hills were real dark. And I thought, oh, a good chance to try this out in bad weather, the Helicon Tex Pilgrim. But it didn't snow. A couple of flurries, that's it. So. Oh well, I'll try it again. I'm not expecting a lot in wet snow or rain with it, mine. But it is nice and comfortable. It's nowhere near as warm or as windproof as my AA event dial. But then this is a third of the price of the AA event dial, which is my grail coat. And I love that jacket. I digress. Well, thank you very much for watching. I always appreciate your comments. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so, and a thumbs up is always appreciated. I'm going to go and split some wood now. Until the next time, ta -ra.
Yes, I know it's easier with an axe. But sometimes I just like to play with a big knife. For the faithful, the end bit, where I go on a bit. Well, uh, I'm gonna help a lot of say today, really. Um, I have monetized the channel, you may by now have noticed. I really wanted to stay away from doing it because I can't stick adverts. But people I know who are YouTubers have told me I'm mad for not doing it. As the channel is growing and getting a bit of a following, and I'm doing reviews and I'm paying for everything myself, I thought, oh, why not? You know, if it fa if it pays, if it pays for YouTube Premium for me, so I can download stuff and listen to music free. Well, so be it. As, I don't know how much it is a month, but if it pays for that, I'll be happy. I'm never going to be a millionaire out of it. And to be honest with you, I'm under no illusions. But I thought I'd do it. And after I'd put that thing up, and everyone had given their opinion and said go for it, well, I thought. There's no reason not to. I'm not going to piss piss my pals off. So I've done it. Well, that's it. I'm packing up now. It's a bit cold. But not too bad. I've got some knife-making stuff to do. So that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. Yeah. Well, that's the end of that, basically. I'm just going to clean this fire up now. I've got a feeling there will be a few bloopers on this one. And another thing, I may cut this video up into a few smaller videos as well. So if you see something come up, and who have already seen that, I may put a few different things in there. I haven't decided yet. I may just do one long video, but it will be quite a long one. And I know some people don't like watching long ones. Some people just like to watch videos for reviews. So I don't mind chopping them up, making a few small ones as well. So just bear with me, I'm doing it for a reason. Not not for any monetary gain, because I'm not going to make much anyway, so i just rather do that. Right, all the best. See you next time. Tara. He's always fucking right. Shit. And if you're wondering why I buy so much kit, it's basically because I like buying it and I like playing with it. And I want to know at the end of the day, if I'm going on a trip for a week or so, the best kit to take with me, I know. And I got lots to choose from and I've used a lot. I'm looking over there now and the robin is eating the mealworms I put out for him. So that's good. Off topic, I know, but there we are. Right, I'm going to have a cup of tea and then I'll get back to you to say goodbye and give you my thoughts of the day. By the way, I will not sell out. I will not take shit stuff I'm sent and give good reviews on it. That is nothing I will do. Nothing I will do. I won't do that. I promise 100% I will not do that.